Before Joe Biden was president, he mm -hmm. said that COVID travel restrictions on foreign countries were hysterical xenophobia and fear mongering. So what changed? Well, I would say first, to put it in full context, Peter, what the president was critical of was the way that the former president put out, I believe, a xenophobic tweet uh, and how he called that, what he called the coronavirus uh, and, and who he directed it at. The president has not been critical of re travel restrictions. We have put those in place ourselves. We put them in place ourselves in the spring. But no, he does not believe. He believes we should uh, follow the advice of health and medical experts. That's exactly what he did in putting in place these restrictions over the weekend. Okay. We saw the president shopping indoors on Saturday behind glass that says face covering required, but his face was uncovered. Why? Uh, the president is uh, somebody who follows uh, the, the recommendations and the advice of the CDC. I don't know what the circumstances were of that particular moment. He was shopping in a store, and on the glass outside it said face covering required, and we could see him inside, and his face was uncovered. Well, again, Peter, our recommendation and advice continues to be for people to wear uh, masks when they are required in establishments. I don't know what this establishment was. The president obviously follows the health, the advice of his health and medical is, team. Is there concern that when the president says today, please wear your mask indoors in public settings around other people, and he doesn't do that, that it's going to make it harder to get people to follow him? I think you see the American people and all of you see the president wearing a mask every time he comes out to an event when he's sitting in meetings, and certainly he will continue to model behavior he hopes the American people will follow, not for his benefit, but to save their own lives and the lives of their friends and neighbors. On immigration, Joe Biden once described the remain in Mexico policy as dangerous, inhumane, and goes against everything we stand for as a nation of immigrants. So why is he keeping it? He continues to stand by exactly those comments and statements. And uh, the Secretary of Homeland Security put out a memorandum conveying we want to end this program. Uh, but we also believe in following the law, and that's exactly what we're doing, as there was uh, a, there was a ruling uh, that required us moving forward with implementation. And then last one. Since the President said that this administration is monitoring the situation in Waukesha closely, it has been revealed by prosecutors that the assailant, the assailant swerved his truck side to side as part of an intentional act to run over as many people as possible. Six people are dead. Some children remain hospitalized. Why hasn't the president visited the members of this Christmas parade attack? Well, I would say first, um, as you saw the president convey last week, our hearts go out to this community, to the people in Waukesha, that we've been in touch, obviously, with officials there. And we're all watching as people are recovering. And this is such a difficult time of year for, for this to happen. It's a difficult any time. Uh, obviously, any president going to visit a community requires a lot of assets, requires taking their resources. And uh, it's not something that I have a, a trip previewed at this plan, point in time. But we remain in touch with local officials. And certainly, our, our hearts are with the, the community as they've gone through such a difficult time.